everyone today we're going to discuss about the topic nutrition and plants in that we will cover about autotrophs heterotrophs nutrients photosynthesis parasitic plants insectivorous plants and symbiosis autotrophs the organisms which can prepare their own food are called autotrophs trophs means nutrition and auto means on its own Other than plants name some other autotrophs you might think plants are the only examples of autotrophs but the answer is no algae can also prepare its own food so it is also an example of autotrophs heterotrophs organisms which depend on other organisms for food are called heterotrophs example humans animals and non green plants nutrients nutrients are the components of food which help to build our bodies to grow to repair the damaged parts of our body and to provide energy to carry out the life processes photosynthesis first let's see about the raw materials of photosynthesis which are carbon dioxide water sunlight and chlorophyll we will discuss deep about these topics now chlorophyll this helps to absorb sunlight it is found in a structure called chloroplast carbon dioxide it is taken by plants through small pores called stomata equation of photosynthesis carbon dioxide plus water and chlorophyll with sunlight will lead into carbohydrate plus oxygen also known as starch plus oxygen Now we are going to see about parasitic plants. Parasites are normally the organisms that depend on other organisms for nutrients. There are two types of parasite: complete parasite, which depend completely on other organisms, example cascata, whereas incomplete parasite does not completely depend on other organisms for food, example mistletoe. It hosts sandal water and it depends sandal wood for water. Insectivorous plants. Insectivorous plants are the plants which depend for insects for the nutrients the nutrition in which the both organisms are mutually benefited is called symbiosis the organisms which live in symbiosis are called symbionts for example leguminous plants and nitrogen fixing bacteria this is a picture demonstrating symbiosis look carefully now we are going to see the last but not least topic replenishment of nutrients in the soil blowing fertilizers and manure these help to improve the quality of the soil hope you enjoyed and learned something new in today's session if you have any questions regarding this feel free to ask in the comment section bye